Our work is aimed at helping internet users get a better experience using applications that are hosted in data centers. And that's true of regardless of what kind of application it is, whether it's web search, whether it's collaborative applications, social network applications, or things like hosted office or exchange, where people are using applications running from our data centers from wherever computer they happen to be sitting in front of. We're the Cloud Faster Development Team. I'm Parveen Patel. I'm Albert Greenberg. I'm Jitu Padhyay. I'm Murari Sridharan. And I'm Dave Maltz. What we'll be doing is showing you a demo of how applications could be much faster using the technologies that we've developed. What I have on screen here is a number, uh, it's two web pages. Imagine you're going to a social networking site. Each of these photos are photos coming from my friends. In order to assemble this page, a huge amount of computation has to go on inside the data center. To get all the computation accomplished quickly, the work is spread out over many, many machines. And that makes the network inside the data center very important. So for example, what I have on screen right here are two web pages that might come from a social networking site. To decide what picture should be shown to me, I'm going to send a request into the data center that's going to be farmed out to lots of computers, which are going to decide what's the most relevant information to send to me. All that information is going to pour back into the one computer that has to figure out which pictures to show to me. And information can be lost in the process. So for example, on the left, the kind of performance you'd get using the protocols that operate inside the data center today. Effectively, what happens is that some of the information is being lost. And that actually shows up in how long it takes to put together the page that, we, that a user is going to see, whereby replacing some of the software and the network stack inside the data center with what we call data center TCP, we can get much, much better performance. Now, this is what that social network site would look like if you were sitting right next to the data center. Here's what the web might look like to someone who's coming over a cable modem. Not only does the data center have to pick which pictures are going to be shown to the user, but then the pictures actually have to make it from the data center down to the user's computer. We've been working on improvements that go inside the wide area that'll take the time down to what you're seeing here. Basically, we're finding ways to use the internet more efficiently, get more information more effectively to the users in a shorter period of time. And we can take the page load times down from, in this case, 10 seconds down to 5 seconds. And that really is going to make an improvement in how you, people experience the applications that they use over the internet. 